everybody and welcome to another haul from the Front Porch Candle Company. I am learning that I can't seem to stop putting these little orders in to Angie for whatever she happens to have available on the day that I'm, you know, searching her website. Like I said in my first video, you do kind of have to be there like a lot to, you know, keep an eye on what you might want and what she is stocking that particular day but um, I placed my first order which I had told you about before then this one that you see right now is my second mini order which just came yesterday I believe I think and then I just placed two more small orders and then today I might place one more and that won't get here till next Friday, I think, if she ships everything together, which is how I understand it. Um, and now I understand why everybody, you know, laughs about how difficult, difficult it is not to order because I keep watching these YouTube videos and now I want to try all these things that I didn't think I wanted to try. It's just crazy. But anyway, um, I did place those two orders. So they'll, they'll be coming, and then this is my little order that I ordered um, right after my first order. So uh, I'll just get into it right now. I have two packs of, here's the other pack. Um, this is strawberry marshmallow bread. This is apparently like one of their biggest, it, it seems to me like from the Facebook page and everything that uh, this, is a popular one because it's stocked and then gone in like four minutes so I literally like was on the website just to get this it's so cute I, I just I love these little tarts um, it is really really good I'm noticing that on cold sniff, a lot of Angie's fruit scents are too strong for me. I feel like that's just me, though. I made a couple comments on my blog, which I will link below, um, about how her berry scents are fake, but everybody really, really likes them. I do like this strawberry scent. This is the first strawberry scent that I've tried from Angie, and I do like it. It's like a sweet strawberry. This is not what a strawberry smells like, but this is um really sweet. However, this could be because of the marshmallow. Um, maybe her regular strawberry is, you know, a little different. I got a strawberry satsuma, um, which should be coming, like I said, next week. So I'll see how I like that one. This is very, very sweet, and you definitely get that bread. And I'm not sure if this is regular bread or just like Amish friendship bread or whatever or zucchini bread. I don't know. I didn't really read the description. This is really good. You get equal parts strawberry. Sorry about that. And um, equal parts bread. So yeah, I really, really think I'm going to like that one. And like I said, I, I got two of those. And then I got another two, oops, I got another two pack of, of these little donuts. Hold on, let me get this arranged a little bit better. It's horrible. Yeah. So, two pack of, finally, this is pink sugar. Mon it's like not focusing. Okay. Um, pink sugar marshmallow bread. And I wanted to try this, but at the time that I ordered, the, you know, again, the shape to me isn't important, but I did get this because I wanted to try this. This is so cute. Love it. Okay. So, I really, really love, love, love her pink. I have pink marshmallow cream, well, I have pink coconut cream, this is my second pink, I love, this smells good enough to eat, mmm, 
it's sweet. It's just, it smells like a really, really sweet pink. I, I don't, it's just a tiny bit of fruit, a lot of sugar. It's really good. Really, really yummy. So, I'm very excited to try that. And really, I got the order because I wanted to try the pink, um, not the pink, the strawberry bread, marshmallow bread. So these, these other two that I ordered, these ones, I did want to try, but you know, I figured I'm not going to get an order just with two things of strawberry bread. So that's what kind of happens. I'll order things that I might not necessarily need because I want to try something that I do really need or want or whatever. And this is the last one. This is, the lighting is really bad in here. Um, buttercream iced carrot cupcakes. Okay. So, people are talking about this one too. And I wanted to see what the hype was about. So, I kind of did really want this one too. This is so good. I love her buttercream. I think I said it already a couple days ago. I love her buttercream. I actually love a lot of things from her, as you'll see in a couple minutes, um, where I'm going to go over what I have actually melted from her. Um, this is really, really good. You get the buttercream. And I know there's something else there, and I know it's supposed to be carrot cupcake, but I do get cake and buttercream. I'm not getting a lot of that spice that normal carrot cake has, so I don't know if it's going to come out whenever um, it's warm, but I'm not getting a lot of it at the moment. I'm not getting a lot of it. So, so that's my little haul, which I'm very excited. All of these, like there's nothing in here that I'm not sure about. I think these are all going to be amazing. Some. My last order, I wasn't really sure about some of them. This one, um, all of it's going to be amazing. And in the next order I have, I got two samplers and a couple of individual grubbies that I wanted to try. Um, so I'm very excited about those. But anyway, thank you so much, Angie, for being so quick. That was awesome. And now I'm going to get into a little bit of what I actually have been melting. And I thought I'd do this together instead of as a separate video because this is all front porch. So... I've been on a front porch kick, uh, and that cat in the background is my sister's. Yes, we have two animals, and I don't know where mine is this morning. Usually he's with me, but I don't see him today, so this is her little one. Um, okay, so like I said, all of this is front porch, so it's just easier for me to do this all together, make one video. Yeah, so the first one that I melted... Um, was the vanilla confusion? Um, you can see that. Yeah. Uh, and I said it like the first time that it smells like a store bought sugar donut, and it does on cold sniff smell like that. This on warm is so good. It is sweet. It has vanilla in it, and there's other things. I, it's hard to describe what this smells like. It isn't your typical vanilla. Uh, she actually did, it's a good name because I really don't know what, it's so good, but you don't really know what's in it. It's kind of musky, <clears throat> it's really sweet, it is delicious. One of the best vanillas that I've ever tried, and I love vanilla. Then, the next one I did was coconut cream pie, and I did one of these, you can see I still have three. <clears throat> this one was phenomenal one of the best pie scents that I've ever tried and I've, I've tried it I know a while back there was one from Yankee that's supposed to smell like pie and they didn't <sighs> excuse me um, and then I tried the candles by Victoria and her coconut cream pie is really good too uh, but this one was so delicious. On cold sniff, you 
wouldn't be able to tell there's coconut in it because I do not get that coconut. But on like on warm, it smells exactly like the pie. You get the crust, you get the cream, you get the coconut, and the coconut's such a sweet, sweet, like rich, creamy coconut. It is. If you love coconut, you have to try this. You have to try this. It is so good. I love that one. Then I did pink. No, coconut cream cupcake. That's what I did. I don't know why this isn't focusing today. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> just the same thing. You get that rich, creamy coconut you got in the pie, pie scent, and then you get that cake over the top. I admit that I like the coconut cream pie better because I don't know what I... I, I like them both. They're very, very good, both of them. Um, but I prefer the pie scent to the cake scent, so that's all. But they're both really good. Oh, there he is. Um, then I did this one. This is blackberry butter jam cookie. And I did this one. It lasted a while, like almost three days. And um, it was like... Like the other two, they're all really strong, so I don't even, I totally forgot to talk about performance, but they perform really well. All her, I haven't had any issues with her tarts at all. They throw, they're in, insanely, insanely strong. And um, they throw really well, so I love them. They're all food scents, so my whole house smells delicious all the time. But the butter jam cookie, I did not like it. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if it's just, I mean, it was okay. I It wouldn't be a repurchase for me. So, I'm not getting a lot of the cookie scent at all. And not too much of that jam scent, which I'm not really sure why that does not agree with me, but it doesn't. So, probably would not repurchase that one. It's okay. I'll melt through the rest of them, for sure. But, I just, I don't know. There's just something about that. And it's really popular. Or it seems like a lot of people order it, so it must just be my nose. This was pink coconut cream, and it was my favorite of um, my first order. Fantastic. This one is like a perfect mix of pink and coconut. There's no bread note in it, no cake note, no cookie note, which is so perfect for me. I loved it. It was creamy, rich. Long last, I think it lasted like three days. I think this one I have, it's going upstairs right now, and I can barely smell it, so it's time to change it out now. But it went three days, and it was really, really, really good. I mean, if you have not tried front porch, you have to do it. I cannot, cannot say enough good things about this vendor. She really is good, and she's quick, and she's thoughtful and she asks us what we want uh now this has turned into like you know like praising the front porch but it's true like it's not just come on i'm sorry there you go so i don't know he's so crazy i'm sorry okay and then the last one is very very good buttercream I have this one going right now in my living room and I can smell it and this is, I usually film from my dining room or my bedroom but um, it's going right now and it's delicious. Um, I said initially that if there's not enough buttercream for me, because I, I really don't get that buttercream note like the way that I do when it's on cold. On warm it, it's just pretty much fruit and it's not bad fruit. I wish this was a little more evenly um, balanced but to me it isn't. That's probably just my nose because I've had people tell me that they're getting equal parts. So it must just be my nose. Everybody's different. Okay, and then I melted um, a tart of creamy vanilla from Tiffany's. I love that one. For blending purposes, it's perfect because everything else I've had going was stronger than that. So it blends really well in the spare room. That's where I've had it. And it's still going strong right now. I think I have it turned on, so... Yeah, it's really, really good. <clears throat> and then I did two from the kissing booth. I did a couple of squares of the tough cookie at the beginning of the week. Um, I want to say like last, 
Sunday or um, Saturday or something. And that one, as pretty as it is, uh, I almost got no thrill whatsoever. In a small room, I got a hint of cookie. I was really disappointed because I love her sugar cookie. It's unique because it has a lemon touch to it. It is so good on cold sniff. Um, I just wasn't getting it on warm though. Like it's just not strong. Like that's probably one that I'm most disappointed in. It's just not strong. So I don't know. I might try it in the 24 watt. Because both of these I melted in my light bulb warmer. But so far with Kelsey's wax I've had no problem with the bulb warmers. But maybe I need to switch it up. So I'll have to get back to everybody on that. Like to see if I like it in a 24 watt or electric warmer. So that was like the first one I did. And then the second one was candy floss. Which I don't know where both of these boxes are. But um, I really love this one on cold sniff as well. But once again, um, just to let everybody know, it is really light. I, I'm not sure if this one's supposed to be light. I assume it's not supposed to be in your face strong because it is super sweet. But um, I hardly got a throw. It was better than a tough cookie one. But, uh, you know, not as strong as what I'm used to from her because I've melted like five or six from her already. And they're all super strong. And uh, these two were not. So, I want to try them in my 20 watt and then see what I think. So, that's what I have actually been putting in my, my, my little melting pots. Um, and uh, I'll be back because my order from Shays is coming soon. So, I'm going to do a video on that. And then, um, and then this front porch order, which is coming next week. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, put them below. And subscribe, like. And I uh, can't wait to watch more of you guys' videos because I'm totally getting so many good ideas for orders from everybody else. Alright, I hope everybody has a good day and I'll catch you soon. Ciao!